freaking adorable. subscribe you should so for today's video we are organizing my kitchen cabinets because they need organizing and I was like you know what why not film that because maybe it will motivate you to organize if it's not organized or it will give you some organization ideas so I guess let's just get right on into the video and the first thing I'm organizing which is what inspired this whole video is my spice drawer it's a mess right now let me show you so this is the state of my spice drawer it's a mess so on Black Friday I ordered some spice jars from Amazon I already have some which I got last year so like I have some right here but it wasn't in it was only a couple because they were so expensive but these ones I think they were like $30 for 36 of them which is really good and then I got labels well first the spice jars came with their own labels I don't think I'm gonna use it but we'll see so these is what came with it then I found some cute ones on Amazon that look like this I'm gonna label them with these but I do have like a couple spices that obviously are not gonna have this and also like the Trader Joe's ones are in a nice square jar anyways so I don't know if I'm gonna take those out I don't know I kind of have to see and play around with it but I am just gonna go and get started on that and it comes with this little funnel so you can put it in the jar easily I think the first thing I'm gonna do is sort them by which ones need to go in the jar the Trader Joe's spices and the ones that are in like already in these jars but they have an old label on it and I need to take the label off of it so I think that is what I'm gonna do first we got everything sorted so first i'm just gonna clean this out because that is disgusting and then what i think i'm gonna do is go through these and take the labels off of these and label these and go through and see if any of them need to be thrown away like um that does not look normal so <laughs> i think this one is done i just took my first old label off and i'm gonna put my first new label on i'm so excited and it's for chili powder in case you were wondering probably don't care <laughs> but it's okay i don't even know if anyone's gonna care to watch this video but i don't know organizing is fun okay ah so cute these stickers kind of stress me out though because i do feel like i only have one chance and then it's over okay let's do this thing it's crooked but it's it's okay i'm going with it life's not perfect so yolo Look how cute! How freaking adorable. Let's put her in the drawer. Stop, that is the cutest thing ever! So cute. And now we just keep doing that. So I'm gonna start with all the old glass jars and peel all the labels off of them and put the new ones on. Peeling off the labels were so hard and took forever, but I finished all the old ones and let me show you, there's actually not that many because one, there wasn't that many to begin with and two, some of them were just so hard and so disgusting, like some of the specialty spices, yeah, they were just like hard I was like, ew. Look how cute! So that is what we have right now. And then I just have one over here, which is extra of the chili powder. So I'm going to find a spot to put like the extras because I know I will have some because like these are huge and obviously don't fit in theirs. But now I'm going to work on these ones because these ones I said I know for sure that I need to put in the jars. These ones I still don't know what I'm going to do with. But let's put them in. That looks so much cuter. Oh, it's so fun. I love it. See, I hate it, but I might have to put these in the glass jars because it's going to be so cute. Let's start pouring. Okay, I gotta take a little break because I have a doctor's appointment in 15 minutes, so I gotta go log on to that. Honestly, I really like the virtual doctor's appointments because it just saves so much time and it's so nice. And sometimes, especially when you're like sick or whatever, you just 
don't feel like leaving the house. So I love it. Uh, yeah, I gotta go log on to that. Things aren't going as planned, but that is okay. That is okay, it is fine. Let me show you. So I did all of the spices that I could. Here's what they look like. Oh my God, they look so good. And now here is the issue that I am running into. Well, the first issue was my doctor's appointment. That did not go well. Uh, and it ended up being two hours because of a mix up. It's okay, I, mm, yeah. It took me like an hour and a half just to get on call with the doctor, but whatever, it's fine. So we're a little behind schedule. But now what I'm left with is I have six seasonings that don't have a label, but you can create your own labels. I wrote them out in pencil and then I started tracing over them, but I don't have a black Sharpie for some reason. I only have a pen and I don't think it's gonna stick. The material is like shiny, so the pen isn't working. So I'm gonna have to go and get a thin Sharpie so I can trace over that. Oh. I just thought of another place I might have a Sharpie, hold on. I found one, I just remembered that I have this basket of all of my clinical items in a in my closet back from when I had nursing school clinicals. Sharpie, so I'm gonna trace over that now. I finished writing them all and I honestly hate it. My handwriting is so bad, but we're just gonna have to go with it. Let me show you the final product of this spice drawer. Okay, this is the after. What, it is so, Nice, I love it. And then if you just go like this, you can't even see my poorly handwritten ones. You just have all these beautiful ones. Ah, I love it. Now I'm gonna find a place for all the extra spices, probably in one of these like cupboards up there, which are just the refill spices. I got all of the spices in these jars, which is so amazing. So I had enough jars. And then I'm gonna eat because I need to eat. And then I'll get back to organizing the rest of my kitchen. I just hope I can finish it today. Like I, I should, I should be fine. We are back. It is almost four o'clock and all I have done is the spice drawer. Oh, I'm stressing. I'm just gonna get started on the rest of my kitchen cabinets. So let's go. It shouldn't, hypothetically, it shouldn't take too long because they're kind of organized already. Let's go on to the next one. This one isn't too bad. This is like my leftover food snack section. So like stuff that doesn't fit in the containers, but I can move some of this stuff. Like this giant <laughs> salt thing can go up by the spices and some other random stuff. So I'm just gonna try to organize this a little bit better. But yay, it's it's not too bad. This cabinet is done for now. And what I mean by that is it's really, oh, oh God. It's really empty at the bottom. So I might end up like putting more stuff in it, but basically it was just rearranging. I had a couple things in there that I didn't need and putting things in the upper cabinet. So that is that. And I think, what do I do next? Do I do the ones next to it? I don't know. I'm gonna tackle this one next. So we have that and I don't know how much cleaner that this can get. I have this one piece of hair that like sticks out, why? Tell me why. So down here we just have some random baking stuff, soups, sauces, other stuff, and up there. And I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do, but we are gonna see. I decided that the first step though is gonna be just taking everything out and putting it on the counter and then evaluating as I go. Okay, everything is now on the counter. I think what I'm gonna do now is put all those soups 
tapes back. Cause like that, I don't have to do anything with. And I just have to put them back. But I don't know what shelf I want them on. We hardly ever eat soups. So I think I'm gonna put them on the third shelf. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Okay, soups are up. Next, I think the box is a pasta. I think next to that, I'm gonna put my baking mixes. And I think I'm gonna put pumpkin in front of that. Does this look too cluttered? Okay, next, I'm gonna put some of the sauces and vinegars and stuff that you don't store in the fridge. I'm gonna put them on the second shelf, I think. I wish I could make it a little bit more organized, but that is how it's gonna have to be. And then I'm going to put these on here. This is just tea that I have every night, and this is ginger pot, ginger powder that I put in my tea and some other things. Now I think I need to start putting things in jars. My favorite part. It's jar time. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this giant thing of coconut oil. I'm gonna take some of it and put it in a smaller jar and then put this one up above the fridge. And I know most of you are gonna be like, why, why would you do that? That is just how my brain works. This thing is ugly. I don't like how huge it is. Like this is bigger than my head. It doesn't look good in the cabinet. And I open the cabinet way too often, it just clutters it up. So I'm gonna take some, put it in a smaller jar and then put this one where I can't see it. <laughs> it's fine, I'm okay, I'm good. I just like things to be neat. <laughs> quite confused on how I managed to make it this empty now. I don't know where it went. Don't know where everything went. Like what? There's what it looks like. See up there is where it's messy, but there's that. Very nice. Now I'm just gonna take a look in some other drawers. My other drawers aren't as messy, I don't think. They're like, there's nothing really I can do with them. Like this one, it's just our kitchen utensils, these measuring cups and an apple cutter. It's not pretty, but that's that's it. That's all I can do. Under here though, it's messy. I never know how to organize this because I organize it and then it just gets messy right away because of how the pans are stored. So I guess I'm just going to clean it up again and it's just gonna be something I have to keep cleaning. Sorry, the lights are so yellow. <laughs> The lighting is going to be bad now because I can no longer use natural lights because it's five o'clock. But let me show you, it's not that clean, but it's the best I can do. If we do cook with pans, it's usually those two. We hardly ever use any of those back there. Then up there, I just have muffin pan and loaf pan. And the rest of my like sheet pans and cooking pans aren't here. I'm making my way around. I think I will finish yet tonight. The next ones that I have is I'm gonna do the one above the microwave. I I really don't think there's that much in there. And down in here and up here. So like these ones over here are gonna go a little bit quicker because there's not much to organize. Thank goodness. This one's just a quick pickup. Now if only I would put the cutting boards in like that every time, it would stay clean. This is just another one where I just have to clean it up again because I don't put things back nicely every single time. <laughs> Someone please let me know how you store your Tupperware and if you have any tips because it's honestly it could be worse But it gets messy pretty quickly. So this is what it looks like after not bad I just have all of them sorted and then the lids sorted by size Up here. I just have tissues a baking tray and an ice cube tray So nothing to organize up here, but it is nice to know that I have space if need be this one I don't have to do anything to either. I mean, it's not the most organized I could probably put one of the bowls up there to make it look spaced better But I don't want to because I might use them this one don't have to touch. Yay This one I just have to do another little rearranging type thing where it's just kind of picking it up It's already mostly organized and can't get much more organized
Okay, that is really all for this one. Like I said, it's nothing crazy. That's the cleanest that I can make it look. This one isn't the cleanest either, but it's just various medications and that is the best that I can do for that. And then these are just leftover jars. Oh my goodness, the lighting is so yellow. I don't like it. I turned off the lights and I hope this is still like very visible. It looks like it on camera, but now I'm just gonna move a couple things in here. Cups, filters. Okay, once again, not the cleanest, but but what can you do? Maybe put that there. Okay, that's a little bit better now that I move that out of the way. You can only do your best. I only have one, two, three, four more to go. I'm so close. Oh, the quality is not good now because of that. So this is like random stuff again that I need to organize to be better somehow but it's like all stuff it's just like random stuff i don't know what to do with you know this honestly doesn't look much better especially since i put the juicer down there but we really don't use it that often anymore so i don't want it like crowding up the counter if i don't need to but i just yeah cleaned it up a little bit and i have these couple things that were in there that i think i want to put in here oh no yeah this one needs needs a little love okay this one we all know what that is <laughs> Oh, GI disorders. Okay, this one is gonna go in here. Honestly, it just amazes me how much cleaner things look if you just put them in the right spot because while this looks still bad, it looks significantly better. Okay, I made it look a little bit better. I shoved the plastic bags back there and moved the trash bags over here. I am down to my last two cabinets and above the fridge, which is stuff that I got recently and didn't have anywhere to put. Oh, first, while I'm cleaning, <laughs> it's the cat app and ca calendar. I didn't get them theirs for today, so let me do that. Okay, kitties. <gasps> Nummy. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I just hit her in the head with the treat. Yummy. Okay, here we go. Their treats are done for the day. <gasps> Nummies. Nummies. <laughs> So under here is pretty messy as well. This is all of our, I guess, appliances that we don't use every day or even close to every day. So we keep them stored in here, which there's a lot. Well, not a lot, but this takes up like the whole thing. This is just the microwave oven. That's the thing. Like we got this as a housewarming gift, like when we got our first house last year and it's convenient sometimes but we hardly ever use it but it's too big just to store on the counter but we use it sometimes so it's just taking up space in here i don't know do i put it in the garage and then we just get it out of the garage when we use it because we hardly ever use it decisions decisions I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? I don't know. I might just leave it in here. You probably don't even notice the difference, but to me, it looks better. What I did was obviously I just left that in there and then I took some stuff out from the top rack and from back there and I put it in this cabinet. Let me show you. Well, in here I put the coffee grinder and then I put the food processor and my boyfriend's little egg boiler thing i think it is we are in the final stretch what i'm going to do now is take the stuff from on top of the fridge and put that i think i'm putting it in this cabinet down here because i have a bunch of space then i'm going to work on the last drawer which is our jug drawer so wish me luck but i'm almost done <laughs> above the fridge is now clean and what i did was i just put the ice cream maker we got up there and we got it for free off of Facebook Marketplace. So I'm excited to try that. And then I put the cookie cutters and our milkshake maker, which we also got off of Facebook Marketplace for free down here. So this is now done. The last step, oh no, it doesn't even open, is our junk drawer. Oh God, this looks awful. Um, yeah, last step. I did it, I did it, let me show you. Still very junky, but a lot better. Cleaner junk, I don't know if I should like spread it out to make it look better, but yeah, this is just basically a bunch of manuals from like the food appliances that we got, envelopes, random stuff. And now all I have left to do is wipe down the counters and cut my little pineapple over there, and then I'm done but I'm not gonna film that part. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was like satisfying, I guess, and that it motivates you to go 
organize or or not you don't have to whatever floats your boat but i hope you enjoyed the video and even though things didn't go as planned at all it is 609 i did not think i'd be filming this late at all and whenever things change they stress me out but i'm learning more to just adapt and go with it so here's your lesson of the video things don't go as planned it's okay keep going find a way around it find a way to make it work and it will happen but i hope you enjoyed the video once again remember to give this video a like comment anything down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.